Hey everyone, Tim from vMix here and in this video we're going to take a look at vMix outputs and how you can use the video outputs from your capture card. There are a lot of different ways that you can output video from vMix and in this series of videos we've already covered outputting video via your graphics card output and also using NDI to output video. Today we're going to look at how you can output video using a capture card or device that supports video output. In vMix, we call this the external output. Now you might be wondering why this Atomos Shogun is here. Well, it is my best friend and emergency contact, but it's also going to be providing an example of how to get the output from your capture card onto a screen or a recorder or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be sending out SDI output from a Blackmagic capture card into this device via SDI. Sending video from a capture device is widely used in vMix for sending video and graphics to other productions, recording on an external device, or perhaps for something like monitoring. vMix also supports Blackmagic key and fill via external output. And if you want to know a little bit more about that, there's going to be a link in the description to our help guide on setting that up. Using video outputs is usually going to be for more advanced users. Uh, so if you don't have any need on outputting video via your SDI capture card, then this video probably isn't for you and you probably shouldn't be going around playing with all of the settings. In all editions of vMix, you have the ability to send out one external output. To use an external output, you will need to have a capture device that supports output and you also need to make sure that you've configured it correctly. For example, I have a Blackmagic card that I've got in my PC here that's able to be configured to use the ports as inputs and outputs. So now I'm going to quickly show you how I've set up my card today. So I've just opened up the Blackmagic Desktop Video Setup application, which is a utility that allows you to configure the Blackmagic cards for input and output. Each manufacturer should have their own app for setting up their cards. It can be quite confusing configuring capture cards, Tim said quizzically. So always check the help documentation for your card when setting up to make sure that you've got it all configured correctly. Each card can have a different configuration, even if it's from the same manufacturer, which is, again, quite confusing. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to set up this Decklink 8K Pro card, and I'm going to use each of the four SDI connectors as input or outputs. So that makes it a little bit simpler for me so that I know I can assign each of the devices to a different connector. So depending on your card and manufacturer, your computer will actually see the card as multiple devices. So for example, even though this is a four channel card here, the computer will see it as four different devices. So we'll have the ability to send out video um, using these different devices. So we've got device one, as you can see here in brackets, and then you'll have two, three, and four for the different um, channels of video that you can send out via each device. Okay, so now we need to go into the settings of the card and then assign each of these devices to a connector, so an SDI connector. So I'm gonna go into the settings here and I'm gonna to go to connectors. Now, as you can see here, I've got connector mapping. Now there are a lot of different ways to configure each card. They're all backwards compatible with older cards. So they have, each of them can have different configurations and multiple ways to configure the card. So for ease of use today, I'm just going to set up each of the devices to be able to do input and output on each of the connectors. If you want to use something like key and fill, you will need to configure this slightly differently. So you can check out the help guide in the description about how to do key and fill. Okay, so now I've got the device one using connector one on the card to do in or out. So I'm going to save this. Okay, so now I've set up device one. I'm going to go to device two and show you why this can get a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna to go to the connectors. Now device two is actually going to be set up on SDI connector three. Now this is all due to the way that it's configured and you can send out different devices on different connectors over different connectors. So it can be a little bit confusing. So you may need to write down what device you've got going out on each connector or when you're loading it up in vMix, it might just be a matter of trying out the different devices to make sure you've got the right one. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. And then if I go to three, same again, and then four, set that up, go into the setting, go to the connector. And as you can see here, four, device four is actually going out connector four. So that makes sense. Due to the way that all the cards are configured, it, it does technically make sense with the way that the video is routed through the different devices and different connectors. 
Uh, and you can probably check out the Blackmagic uh, website for more information and diagrams on schematics about how it all technically works if you wanted to get into detail. Now I'm just gonna go back to device three. So device three here is the one that I've got set up in vMix uh, with my camera connected to it. So as you can see here, I've got a camera input coming in to device three in vMix. Now, when you set up these ports to do either input or output, you can't do both at the same time on the one connector in this configuration. So if I wanna output my video um, using vMix, I can't use device three because I'm using that for my camera input. Okay, so now I've successfully configured my card to use all four connectors to be input and output. Now we're gonna jump back to vMix and set it up. All right, so now that the card is set up for output, let's take a look at the external output settings in vMix. Now, just as a reminder, if you've got a different type of capture card, make sure that you go through the settings and the guides that your capture card provides you to make sure that you've set it up correctly. So in order to get to the external output settings, you can go to the external section down here and go to the little gear icon and go to external output settings, or you can go to the settings section, which will bring you to this screen and then go to external output. If you have vMix 4K or Pro, you have the ability to do two external outputs. So you'll see external one and external two up the top here. I'm just gonna select external one for today. Now in the left-hand column here, you'll see vMix video slash streaming and use streaming settings. Now these are tied in with your streaming. Uh, it's a bit of a legacy setting, so just leave this as it is. Don't touch the left-hand column. Now on the right-hand column, you can select uh, external renderer, which is your external output. So I'm gonna click this here. As you can see, the settings now become available underneath it. Now underneath the external renderer, you'll see use display settings. Now typically when you're sending out your video output, you want it to match your vMix preset. So today I'm doing a 1080 2997p production and I wanna send out that same video. So more than likely you just want to leave this the same because you want to be sending out the same video as your production. However, you can untick this and make changes here. Now underneath that, you'll be able to select the device. So as we mentioned before, it can be a little bit confusing with the way that each card works. So it may be a little bit of a hit and miss to work out which you know, device you're actually connected to with your SDI that you're sending the video out from. Um, so I know that I've got uh, the device two set up for output and I don't have any cameras coming in on that one either. So I'm going to use um, this channel or device two here. So for the port, I'm gonna use the SDI port. Sometimes the cards will have a HDMI or SDI output, so you might need to select what port you need to use here. So for the audio channels, vMix will always send out audio via the external output. So you just need to select whether you want to use the master or a bus to send out audio. Now don't go into the audio outputs of vMix and then try and use that to route your audio via the external outputs. Just use this setting here that says audio channels. Now, if you do have a Bluefish card, an additional drop-down box will appear here and you'll be able to select your uh, Bluefish audio output. Now, underneath that, you'll see an alpha channel section. Now, that's to do with key and fill. Again, you can check out our help guide for more information about that. And then finally, down the bottom, you can select an audio delay. So once you're done with all of your settings, you can go ahead and click OK down the bottom. Now, if you wanna turn on your external output, there's an external button down here or you could set up a shortcut for it. I'm gonna click this button here, and as you can see, it has now appeared on my Shogun here. So just some quick troubleshooting. If you go ahead and you press the external button and it pops up with an error, um, just double check to make sure that you've got the card uh, set up correctly. Make sure that you've got an SDI connected to the right connector. Um, and also make sure that you're not trying to input and output over the same connector. So for example here, I have a camera um, here, and if I go to the settings, um, you can see that it's coming in via the third device. So I'm not outputting video via number three, I'm outputting video via number two. So I couldn't use the same device to send and receive video uh, using the SDI connector. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, if you've got vMix 4K or Pro, you can set up a second external output. So if we go to the settings, uh, we can set up the external output here, external two, uh, and then we can turn on the external renderer, select the device, and I've got it coming out the fourth device from the card, the port's SDI. Um, so that's all set up like so. Now you can also choose what comes out of the external too. So if we go down to the external settings, but we go to output slash NDI settings, from this menu here, you can see what you've got going out, your different outputs. So for the first output, it's going to be tied in with your recording, streaming, and the external one output. So you, you're gonna wanna leave that as output. 
But for my second external output, you can see from this description column here, I can go ahead and change what output I want to use. So I could send out a multi-view, I could send out an input preview, or I could send out my output, for example, uh, and turn off all the overlays from this menu here if I wanted to. I could turn off the overlays. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out the multi-view. So I'm going to click OK now. So when I turn on my external, I'm actually going to grab my other, my Blackmagic Video Assist here. So when I turn on this here, you'll see I've now got my video output here and I also have my multi-view here. So this is sending out via external too. Okay, so if you do have any questions about vMix or using the external output, please drop us an email via the support page on vmix.com. With this kind of hardware technicality, uh, it's a little bit hard to answer questions on YouTube. So please send us through an email. If you do send us a really technical question, we'll probably just reply with, can you please send us an email so we can take a look? Thanks a bunch. Um, so if you do have any questions, send us an email. Um, if you need to know about Key and Phil, check out the link in the description as well. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.